Hey Pisces, fellow Pisces. I'm about to do mid-month check-ins for our energies. I'm a Pisces. So I'm gonna see what is going on for mid-November. Um, okay. So you might be experiencing some heavy burdens. Something that is weighing you down and you're possibly walking away from, from it. Could be a um, connection where there is there was strong emotions because eight of cups is walking away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling so um the emperor could be representing just being brave and doing that you know walking away from something because it's never easy to walk away from something We're going to clarify. And Queen of Cups, that's us. That's Pisces energy. <clears throat> oh. Sorry about that. My camera just shut off. So we're going to clarify these cards. Why the Eight of Cups? Oh. Knight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. So it looks like it's just time for a new cycle in your life. Something that's been probably taking a while to get to where you are. So you might have been in this Ten of Wands energy for some time now. This, you know, heavy burden, carrying this heavy load that could be just emotional baggage that you're just wanting to walk away from. Why the Ten of Wands? Yeah. Yeah. It's nasty energy. We've got the Devil and the Five of Swords. So, whatever it is, it's just, it's not serving you anymore. It's just unhealthy. Why the Queen of Cups? Oh, jeez. Well, I'm not taking all of these cards because that's a lot. But I will take whatever flipped over. So we have the moon, eight of wands, and ten of cups. The moon is, again, Pisces energy. I see, you know, with the Eight of Wands, can talk about movement, movement, walking away from whatever this toxic um, connection situation is. Moving away from it is going to bring you emotional abundance, Ten of Cups, happiness. It might be hard to see with the moon here. Maybe this is, you know, it's hard to see a positive outcome. And it can also be talking about, you know, listening to your intuition. You gotta do what's best for you. The emperor, why, the, why is the emperor here? The knight of swords, yeah. It's telling you to move forward. Be brave. Luck is gonna luck is on your side because we have the wheel of fortune here. It's upright. It's, luck is on your side. It talks about new cycles. Um, 
you know, it's destiny, basically. Like, whatever you were dealing with was supposed to happen, unfortunately. But sometimes that's what we need in order to um, learn lessons in life, you know? It's not... Lessons are not always easy. And unfortunately, you had to experience something that was very painful. But the good news is, you know, with the Ten of Wands, Ten is the end of the cycle, and you're ready for a new chapter in your life. I'm going to pull a Oracle card for some advice. Sundress. Do it for you. It's funny because I actually, when I grabbed the pile, that's the first card I saw. Do it for you. Okay, 41. <clears throat> when it comes to healing and recovery, make sure you're doing it for yourself, not for somebody else. Becoming too dependent on other people will only, le will only end in disappointment. People leave, friends drift, family members become estranged. Your reason needs to be bigger than them. And believe it or not, you are important enough to be that reason. Yeah, it's totally fitting for this reading. I love it how the or oracle cards always match the message because it's a, it's a confirmation, you know, that you're on the right path you are strong enough, you are brave enough to make this change. You know what, what decisions you need to make. And always remember to do it for you. Don't do it for anyone else. At the end of the day, all we have is ourselves. That's very important to remember. So that's your reading, Pisces, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.